G'day again. Welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of uh, Panzer Grenadier and my start to a Pacific War campaign starting on the... Oh, I keep forgetting. 9th of June, 1942, using the first uh, scenario out of Alaska's War, Alaska's Warriors, where the Japanese have landed on Atu and Kiska, and they're trying to uh, take the village here of Atu. Um, we're about to go on with the 1030 turn. We started at 0800. We finish at uh, 1345. So yeah, we're not quite halfway there yet. So the Japanese have forced their way up the track. Um, trying to stay out of the muskeg as much as possible. Um, they assaulted into the uh, sergeant's hex here last time. Um, and the sergeant was killed. And this poor little infantry was reduced and demoralized. Uh, when he, and when he tried to recover, he just uh, couldn't, so he ran away. Uh, the still in there. Where are we? I did. Salt map. Bigger. Um, so we've got one little disrupted, uh, reduced infantry platoon left for the Americans in there. Um, before they went in for the assault, uh, the uh, random event let us get rid of this infantry platoon. It just wandered away. Um, so they actually went in with only one infantry platoon and one heavy machine gun with this lieutenant and ensign. Uh, but they were, uh, the other lieutenant with his reduced heavy machine gun came up in support and uh, assaulted into the hex as well. Um, so the commander is left here with a reduced uh, infantry platoon. The lieutenant and his people are still fine up here. The captain, quite luckily, had moved his uh, company out of the village uh, last turn and dug in just outside the village. And then the, um, the cruiser guns hit the village. So he was extremely lucky. And we still have the Alaska scouts up here with their lieutenant dug in. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll just pull that out of there. Okay, so uh, the Americans have lost three steps, uh, two reduced units and the dead sergeant. And the Japanese have um, lost four steps at the moment. Uh, I don't think they've lost a, or have they lost a unit? Burr, burr, burr. Yes. So they've lost a unit, have two reduced units, and we've lost the sergeant. Righto. So our initiative has dropped by one for the Americans, and our initiative for the Japanese has dropped by one as well. So rolling for initiative, Americans first. One plus three is four, and the Japanese are four plus four is eight. Eight minus four is four. Half is two, no rounding needed. There's going to be two activations for the Japanese. So what do they want to do first? Um, bum, 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 bum. What do we have here? Ah, that's right. We moved the uh, lieutenant with his company up to here last time. Um, so they could assault into here, which seems like a good idea. Um, and I think we probably need to do that before these guys here with the heavy machine gun can bring fire onto them. Um, 
I think that would be the smart thing to do. So we're going to activate these guys for an assault. So that's a fire action. Um, so the lieutenant will get first fire, but let's get this set up. Drag them up over there. Just putting dug in on them uh, and it dropped off again. I suppose in, in assault, it's not going to matter. Um, what is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I don't think it does. Down entrenchment cave. No, dug in doesn't matter. Right. So that's assault X to there. So we can grab the Japanese and bring them over. Now I can bring this over. That. And there we go. Okay, so first fire for the Americans um, comes under the assault combat. So they have 6, 12, 13 which is good. So they have 13. Um, no, no, no. All units have higher morale. No, they do not. Uh, they have lower morale. They only have a 7-6 against the Japanese 9-8. Uh, they have an undemoralized leader, so we'll go up to the 18. And I think that's it. Yep, so we're rolling on the 18, and we roll a 5 on the 18, which is a M2, which is not a bad result. Righto, so the lieutenant is a 9, so he needs a 7 or less, and fails and is demoralised, uh, disrupted, I should say. Uh, machine gun, again, is a 9, so needs a 7 or less. Oh, gets an 11 and is demoralized. Uh, the first infantry platoon, seven or less, gets it, and the other infantry platoon is a six. He passes as well. Okay, so that was first fire. Right, so these guys, this guy cannot attack. He can only defend because he's demoralized. So, um, we only have an attack of eight. Uh, they do have an undemoralized leader. So they go to the nine. Uh, all units attacking side have higher morale. Uh, that's an eight. Yes, they do, even with a demoralized guy. Uh, so they go to 13, and they're Japanese, so they're on the 18. Oh, 9 on the 18 is an M2 against the Americans. Okay, so the lieutenant is a 9, so he needs a 7 or less, and does it beautifully. Uh, the infantry are 7s, so they need 5 or less. First one gets a 5, second one fails and is demoralized. Failed by 3. Okay, so these guys have now activated. That is the first activation for the Japanese. What do they want to do for their second activation? I think the commander... Yes, the commander will activate um, to try and um, recover these two units here. I can make this a bit bigger, can't I? Yeah, there we go. Um, so the commander is activated. We're going to do recovery. Um, so we'll do... Now, can he use his one on him? Or is it only in the same hex? 
no, I think he can. So, okay. So we have the Japanese on a nine. Plus one is ten. So a nine or under. Yeah, either way. It was going to work. Oh, sorry. Go back. Go back. So this guy is back and has activated. Uh, the commander has activated. And we have the reduced little fella here. So he is an eight. Plus one is nine. So eight or under gets a seven. And he is back as well. Um, sorry. And has activated. And that is the, or are the two activations for them. So we're back to the Americans' first activation. Wow. Um, we do have a range of five for the machine gun. And the commander is four hexes away. But we'd be firing through the assault and we can't fire through this unit. So, no. Uh, but we can fire at this little bugger over here, can't we? At a range of four. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're not going to activate the cap. Oh, we will activate the Captain, that'll give us one extra. That'll bring us up to the 10. Uh, so we activate the Captain and the Machine Gun. So we're firing for 10, 11, 12. So we're on the 11. Um, we get a plus one because this guy is in muskeg. So we get a plus one to um, that. Uh, so we're on to the 16. Uh, we're back down to the 11 because he's three or more hexes away. And that is it. So we're on the 11 for a 6 is nothing. Okay. So the captain has done. Machine gun is done. And we're back to the Japanese for their third activation. Right. So these guys have all activated. Everything in Assault Hex 2 has been done, which only leaves Assault Hex 1. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Maybe I'll be do a couple of things here. Okay. In Assault Combat, we need at least five. So if we left the machine gun there with the with a lieutenant to assault him, we can do that. So these guys will fire. Um, and I'm going to take the rest and I'm going to assault into here. Uh, no, he'll just run away, won't he? That's okay. If we can kill this guy off, then we can shoot into there and try and do something with him. Um, so I'm not worried about him at the moment. Oh, let's just hit it with all. May as well. Do 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 do. Uh, uh. No, we'll just go with the machine 
Gun. Yes. The non-reduced machine gun. With the lieutenant. Okay, so we have a six. So we're on the five column. We have higher morale. So we're on the nine column. We have an undemoralized leader. We're on the 13 column. And we're Japanese, so we're on the 18 column. For a five is an M2. Okay, this guy is reduced, which is a six. So that brings it down to a four or less. No, and he becomes demoralized. I don't know why I'm doing that. Use the hotkey. Right, so this guy is done and this guy is done. They have activated and now it's up to the uh, Merry Cans. Um, so I think this guy here is the first guy I'm going to do. And he's going to try and recover. So this is their second activation. Um, so again, he is reduced, which is a six. Demoralized is a five, so he needs a four or under and does not. So he moves away again. Um, he is going to move up onto the track. No. Because that leaves him at the, well, he'd still be in range of both of them anyway. No, we'll go this way. Um, and we do a um, Maya roll, so three or less. Nope, five is done. So he is done. Um, costs him two to move uh, each hex, so uh, he can't do much else. Right, so the Japanese have had three activations, the Americans have had two. So Japan can activate for nothing. Um, so we are going to grab this lieutenant along with this infantry and this reduced machine gun and activate them to move. Um, let's bring them out here like this. Let's move them over. So they're coming out of a hex, uh, assault hex one and they're going to move this way they're going to try and keep this guy in between so that they can't shoot at him um like that so we need a maya roll for this guy who has just moved uh, three or less no he's fine then the infantry comes in three or less no he's fine and the lieutenant comes in and he's fine as well, and they have activated. Right, and that still leaves the lieutenant, the ensign, and the um, total there. Right, next, the Americans. Well, I think we need to, we'll just put him as activated. He needs to try and do a recover. Um, he's probably going to get shot in the back as he runs away um, he'll be running that way that'll leave him the same distance so he's got to run that way so um, he is reduced which is a six he's demoralized which is a five so he needs four or less fails by three and is destroyed um, get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that Flip him over, and then I can send him to the graveyard. And that's another step loss. 
is four step losses each now. Um, and then this assault hex one comes away. Machine gun is there. Ensign is there. Lieutenant is there. Um, let's move that over there. Right, Americans have only had two activations. Do they want to actually do anything? Um, they could fire on here. Uh, it's not going to be great, but this is only their third activation. So um, I believe Foggle's War is after everybody has had three activations. So we activate. Whoops. Those two infantry to fire, so that's six into here. Uh, so they're on the four track, the four column. Uh, they're going to go down to the two column because it's more than three hexes away. And that's it. On the two column, we get a three, which is a morale check on these units. So the lieutenant is a nine or less, passes. The ensign is a nine or less, passes. And he's got a plus one to morale. So the machine gun will be a 10 or less and passes. Um, and that is that. They have activated. Right, so we're back over to the Japanese. And I, I don't think they've got anybody else to activate other than the ensign. So they're going to pass. Um, but we'll roll for fog of war just in case. Yep, nothing. Um, the Americans don't want to do anything either. So it's a, it's a double pass, so that is the end of that turn. So we can bring the turn track over, go up to 10.45. Uh, time, 22 minutes, I think we'll call it there. Righto, so um, we've got troops now in Assault, no. in assault Hex 2. Uh, so we've got a lieutenant with a demoralized infantry platoon and we've got a disrupted Japanese um, with a demoralized machine gun and two infantry platoons so um, that's pretty damn oh, oh these guys haven't done anything yet ah ah dum 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 let's just leave that back there uh, we'll roll for fog of war 14. No, we can keep going. Okay, so these guys can actually activate. Um, so the lieutenant and this guy are going to fire, assault, and this guy is going to try and recover. <coughs> um, so I'm going to do the shooty first. So if he's got to move out, oh, they can't shoot at him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so we'll do this first. Uh, so he is a seven, a six. So he wants under six. We don't have anything to help. Gets a four and comes back one. He's now disrupted. So he is done. Okay, so we're firing here. Salt combat, we have six, seven, which doesn't help us. We've got five. Um, we have an undemoralized leader, which goes up one, and that is all we get. So that's it on the nine. Oh, a ten is an M1. Okay, so we are done. M1. So the lieutenant is a 9, which makes an 8 or less. It's a 6, he's fine. Demoralized guy, there's nothing helpful from here. Um, is a 9, becomes an 8. Uh, it was an M1, wasn't it? No, an M2. No. 
Yeah, uh, M2. Okay, so a 9 and 8 is a 6 or less. Honey <laughs> does it. Um, a 7 or less. Oh, fails miserably. And is demoralized. And a 7 or less. Oh, and fails miserably. Well done, Lieutenant. Well bloody done. Okay. Now the Japanese can't do anything or anything else, so that will be that. And yes, we go up to the 1045 turn, and we're not doing anything else. The Japanese can't activate anything other than this ensign, which they're not interested in doing. Or are they? Yes, they are. Fog of War roll? No. So the Ensign will move. Um, oh, they'll get a shot at him. But I want his morale bonus up in Assault Hex 2. Nobody else can shoot at him here, so he'll go to... Onto the track, we'll do a Maya roll because he's moving through the muskeg. Um, oh, is that, am I been rolling that wrong? No, it's two dice. Yep, he's fine. And then he'll roll to go into the assault hex, and he's still okay. Let's bring this over here, and the ensign moves in there. Um, And he is done. Um, and he'll help these guys to uh, recover next time, which I think is, is most important. Right, so that is it. <laughs> we, we do come to an end. Um, we'll call it quits there. Um, and we'll do the 1045 turn next time. Sorry that was a bit screwed around. Um, I must be getting senile in my old age. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.